Hello, my name is Noor Hamad, and today I'll talk to you about our late-breaking work involving cyborg design sketches and image boarding. So with my collaborators, we worked on a long-term project where the goal was to produce a wearable arm application using Baxter, the robot. And we really wanted to explore the design space and see what was possible with wearable arm applications. So we had a design session with five designers from the Interactions Lab, and I won't get into the specifics of how we structured the design session, but uh, you can find some of that detail in the report itself. We asked the designers to sketch low-fidelity prototypes by asking themselves how would some simple day-to-day -day tasks look like if you performed them with two wearable arms. And in the end, we had produced 79 sketches across the five designers of cyborg applications. So we had this large sketch data set where we wanted to find patterns, some commonalities, and derive some design considerations for the future. So in order to do this pattern finding, we used image boarding, which is using pictures to form collages to communicate design aesthetics and intent. So what we did was we used sketches instead of pictures to form the collages. So we had this visual and, and tactile way to group together the sketches and find patterns and commonalities and see what the prevalent patterns are in the ideas. And even though the ideas were pretty varied, we did find some prevalent patterns within them. First, the, it's important to design a wearable arm experiences that support multitasking. Second, the wearable arms are helpful when they alleviate physical strain on the user. And third, designing mechanisms to support a rest mode of some sort is really necessary because trying to incorporate two wearable arms in a task, especially if it's a simple task, can actually reduce productivity rather than increase it. So having them at rest is better sometimes. And we find this to be especially important as long-term cyborg experiences become available. So thanks for watching.